now ready for three rounds with the amateur thigh 68 kilo weight class. This fight is sponsored by 365 Football Agents. And now, introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, representing Y Tribe. Please welcome to the ring, Ben Fee. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing to you his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. Mark, before we kick off, you just alluded to something that I think is very much worth explaining to the people watching at home. Yeah, this is the first one we've seen of the night where we've seen uh, Ben Fee get in and what we call uh, seal the ring. You've seen him walking around with his hand on the rope, touching the corner, each corner three times, very respectfully walking around. And this is, again, another tradition coming from Thai Boxing where we're sealing the ring, we're keeping in Fighters the good energy, we're, we're keeping out the bad spirits and the bad. And again, uh, most modern fighters won't believe maybe in all of that, but tradition can mean a lot to these fighters coming from coach to athlete. So Ben Fee showing a level of tradition there and it seems to be transferring into his technique. Heavy, heavy leg kicks again, almost Dutch in its execution. Again, another thing I would have noticed, I didn't see uh, Tay's hand wraps, so in red corner, but I did see Fees. he has a professional hand wrap, so he has zinc oxide tape on, so again, he's shown he is a different level if he's going to put that level of emphasis on hand wrapping, and it's seen again, he's shown technique. If he's got the hands wrapped at that level as an amateur fighter, it tells me he's a very heavy hitter. This, for me now, what I'm seeing so far out of, out of uh, Fee is, one of, is, is a favourite style of mine. If you're going to stand and bang, if you're going to sit in the pocket, you've got to do this. His timing is score shots, and he's waiting to hit a direct counter in the middle of his opponent's shot. It's almost that ethos of, of being willing to take a shot to land a shot. Absolutely. Uh, very K1-esque as well. Uh, I could see uh, Fee transferring easily over. To, to, to do him tie and K1. He's really starting to get the reaction on those leg kicks. Absolutely, you won't be able to take too much of arm. So that's the start, that's the stumbling the leg. Generally, that's the end of it. This match will be called within three rounds. Uh, we see Tay start to switch stances as usually indicative of the fact that the leg kicks are adding up. Those leg yeah, kicks. It can't be, it's one of them injuries. We've seen it earlier on. Uh, with, with starting to limp, sorry to interrupt you, but you can yeah. see a limp now from Tay. Usually fighters now will switch stance and that tells the judges there's huge effect. But we've already seen the, the limp, he'll switch or he should go into clinch. So at this stage, he should be going straight in. Tay should grab and clinch up, but I don't think that's gonna happen. This is a pro performance in amateur Absolutely. shin guards from Benfrey. Absolutely. <laughs> And it's that dull thud as opposed to a slap that lets you know that a shot landed where it was meant to. Absolutely. Lara, very experienced referee, keeping his eye on this match. He's going to probably have to step in very soon. The match is obviously the switch stance here. It's for seconds or maybe first 10, 20 seconds of the second round, this might be called. You can see a shake of the head from Tay as he goes back to his corner. Or will Fee continue to chop that lead leg? I like the way he switched it up. He didn't go to the natural low kick. And again, he's still holding back from going from that low kick. He's hitting it sporadically or... Looked like a knee square on the cup. That high hand, as you said, very indicative of a pro style. Again, he's trying, Tay's trying to get them scores in, but doesn't seem to have the snap in them shots. Even with trying to check those kicks, they're still landing on that upper thigh area. Absolutely. I don't think we're going to see too much more of Ben Fee in the amateurs. If this performance is anything to go by. No, I don't know what his record is, but he's uh, he definitely wouldn't be considered an N or a novice in the amateurs, meaning he's only a couple of fights. That level of styling and explosiveness only comes with years of training. And even in that awareness to, to elicit the check, throw the hands, to bring the leg down and then throw it. Beautiful intellect, beautiful ringmanship and craft from Ben Fee. Absolutely. Again, Lara looking closer. You see Lara inching closer to the referee. The main priority is to protect the fighters. Oh, another big shot wobble. This is where the corner Tell. need to have a look. The towel should possibly be thrown in. I 
I think this is where the tell needs to come into effect. There's no need to take any more beatings. He can't, doesn't have the potential, unfortunately, just yet to turn it around. Last few seconds, if he can last the round, the corner shouldn't let him come out. And this is often a quandary and it divides opinion in all combat sports. At what stage do the corner throw the tile in? Did take a long, hard look, but he asked Tay if he wanted to continue fighting. Without a moment's hesitation, Tay nodded the head and said yes. That's the problem with fighters. Fighters should want to run through a brick wall, and sometimes the coaches are the ones that have to rein them in. Tay's doing what he's trained to do, be a fighter and give everything he has. I think possibly at this stage, I'd be telling uh, Fee to maybe ease up on the headshots and go to the body. There's nothing to be gotten by inflicting any more damage than needed. Tay has a chin on him. You have to give him yeah. credit, but toughness will only get you so far. And that's the fight over. Larburn calls an end to the action. Near flawless performance from Ben Fee. Stayed on his feet the entire time. No Fee falling at all here. Beautiful work from the young man. Ladies and gentlemen,